Yo, what's up guys? Back here in our video and today we're doing prank calls. I know you guys really enjoyed that, so we're gonna try to give them a little taste of Jimbo and we're gonna do like fast food, like just try and get pissed off or whatever. Well, I think you probably have some mental problems. Hope you enjoy, like, and subscribe, and hit that noti. Let's go. I was got a Doritos Loco Baco and I found a pube in it and like that wasn't the problem. The problem was like uh like a pubic. I don't know if it was like a hair or like a pubic, but it definitely looked really curly. But it was like the problem, but like I smoked it. And that was the problem. Like it was really disgusting and like it made me have diarrhea. Okay, why don't you bring it back? Because those tacos come out of a box. No, so like, it like the problem was like, it was it like the problem was in like, being in the box. It was the like I smoked they the pube. So like it was the Doritos Loco Baco. Okay, who is that talking in the background? I'm his friend. Yeah, my friend was. Okay. He so, witnessed the incident. What was the ta what was wrong with the taco? So, I opened up the taco and I found a pube and. What the pube look like? Because I have pubes. Oh, okay. Do you want me to send a picture or no? Why don't you bring your taco bag? Should I bring my pubes? Like in the morning. Bring your taco bag so we can take a look at it. And if it's a problem, we'll give you your money back. Come on up here. I'm here until 4 o'clock in the morning. But the problem is I smoked the pube. Like, it was bad. Okay. And bring the taco back, sir. So sh FBI. should I bring my pubes? Whatever you want to bring. Like, yeah, we don't have time for y'all to be playing on this phone. Act grown. And I'm, I'm acting grown, but you're just raising your voice at me like a child. No, I'm asking you to bring the taco back. You say you got a problem with the taco, bring it back so we can take care of it. Well, it was a taco t baco. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> so I was kind of disappointed that I didn't see panda meat on the uh menu and i was just saying that you guys have really good rice uh what do you mean we don't have a panda like uh, like a panda bear like the meat like i want to sink my teeth into real panda meat oh you want to try the panda meat yeah okay i'll see if uh, i can get you the topic no can i help you so um i just have a really big problem i was looking on your guys's menu and like I like everything else, everything's perfect, but no panda meat, like kebabs and stuff like that. No what? Panda meat. Like I want to, okay. and I just have a really big problem with that. And like if my demands aren't like exceeded, I think that I should like drop a really bad Yelp review. I think you can call the, some come some uh, other organization to say that you they can use this meat to make make the food. But can I like send requests or something or no? You can, you can contact the, uh, the corporate number. Do you want a corporate number? So they can have your information as well. I just want some fucking panda. you like, I can never get that or what? You know you have, you know you have your caller ID up here to my phone and I can call the police report you also, correct? Um, correct. Uh, okay, you need to right. stop you acting with minutes, the, the police will be at your door, okay? Thank, thank you, you, thank you. Hello? Oh yeah, so my issue was that uh, I just feel like you guys are all about white supremacy and that you guys are super racist. Why would we be about white supremacy? Because it's in the name and also, like, that's basically the number one rule, like, don't just bring white into, like, conversations. It's kind of fucked up. Uh, no, not at all. Okay. I all right, but, well, I think you probably have some mental problems, and if you call back here again, I'm going to trace this number, and, uh... Well, we'll now you're just being racist right, right now as we speak. Okay? So you're just uh, going to be a racist? No here, and, uh, you know, it's probably a prank call, and I it's, n it's not a prank and call and again. And, and going on with the dance, but, you know what, uh, just, uh... Dude, that's All right, you're racist. You're racist. 
Um, I have a quick question real quick. Okay. So, I'm a transgender, and I just wonder if I can, like, get a job or if I can get hired. Oh, uh, yes, we actually hire everyone. You guys aren't against gays? No, we are not. Because, like, like so I, was, I went to one Chick-fil-A, and they were saying, like, no, we're homophobes or something like that, and kicked me out of the store. Oh. Not sure why that would have happened, but it wouldn't be the case here. Oh, very nice. One of my reasons why I want to join Chick-fil-A's establishment is because I love the chicken, like, nuggets. And I love chewing them, like... Oh, no worries. <laughs> and I just love them. Like, they're so tasty. Like, I, I, I just can't think. Like, it gives me a horny worm when I'm just <laughs> thinking about it. Oof. Hey, I have a quick problem with my Whopper. I was just uh, calling and saying that there was, like, seeds on my bun. Yeah, they they uh they all have sesame seeds. Will they grow my stomach when I because I ate like my whole burger and I just wondering if it will grow something in my stomach. <laughs> uh yeah. Oh my god. Go look up Burger King uh, stomach trees. How about Burger King foot lettuce? Is that a thing? That is a thing, man. So that burger you had, it 100% had foot lettuce. Oh, dude. It had, it had sweaty black man foot lettuce. Eat your ass. <laughs> Hear me out, like, don't hang up. So I ate the french fries, and, like, I don't know if it's from the salt from the french fries, but I'm pooping out crystals. I, literally, I just ate the fries a five minutes ago. I don't know if it's from that. Uh, no, it's not gonna be from that. You know why that's happening to you, my dude? Um, so you don't uh, think it's a salt, like just crystallizing in my like no, poop or something? No, uh, we use the sea salt. Sea salt's one of the most natural salts that you can use. It's one of the best cleansings, uh, cleansings for your body. That's why a lot of people go out to the east coast or the west coast um, to stay on the beach because of the salt water. <laughs> sea salt is good for you. Sea salt is way better for you than a lot of than a lot of people would tell you. That's why that, you that's why we switched from normal iodized salt to sea salt. If anything, I'd tell you to probably call a doctor, my dude. Uh, this might sound weird, but do you think I should eat the crystals? Like, somewhere off my cheeks. No. <laughs> like, it might sound gross, but, dude, my stomach's no, freaking... that's disgusting. You wouldn't... But, uh, you wouldn't... Yeah, call a doctor, my dude. Do you want me to come in and show you a picture? No, I <laughs> do not. <laughs> It's I'm fucking really weird. Good. It's literally a log with crystals. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap up today's prank call. Hope you guys enjoy. And please tell your friends to subscribe. Spread the word. We're almost to 1,000 subs. We're literally that close. So please do. And if you haven't already, drop a comment. Like, we read those way often. And, like, give us more ideas. If you guys want to see us do more, like, other stuff, type in the comments and we'll read them trust me trust me don't be scared we like it but this is jimbo signing it out Ooh safari